15 minute game. Let's push through the center here. Casual game against Anonymous. Captured, let's capture. Let's get the bishop out. As usual, making space for the castling. Knight's got no protection, let's just bring the knight back. Potential for attacking the queen with the bishop, with the support from the knight. Let's attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Always for the bee pawn, greedy munching queen. So how do we like these apples? Let's just bring the knight here, queen support in the rook. How many times do we say the greedy munching queen doesn't usually end too well for the opponent? Because it's on the other side of the board, probably needs to start bringing it back a little bit. But they're not doing that at this moment in time. Does have a nice square here, but the knight's protecting. Knight can attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, just is probably going to come here, but then the bishop can come back. So let's attack the queen, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Sometimes they don't see the reversal of the knight. They look forward thinking, oh, it's just going there. And we can just grab the queen. And they've gone to that position. Bishop can come back, attacking the queen again. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. So it's probably going to run to safety to this square. Because staying around here is just going to cause it trouble. It, there's nothing safe here. There's nothing safe there. So that's the only safe square. So if that's the only safe square, pawn can attack it. And then it can get to safety here or here. So that's what it's potentially going to do. Bishop does have this, but then it does have the pawn dropping there. So we won't go too far. Once it's gone back, maybe the pawn push is enough. Is there a fork? There is a fork, you know. Well, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's just attacking the king. Okay, so it took a while over that. The bishop definitely can't squeeze here. There's definitely nothing else. Pawn push, like we said. So really harassing the queen, but not overextending, I'm hoping, anyway. Are you peeping? <laughs> you can't get through. Hello, what are you watching? Okay, so the queen's gone here and knight's not going there because obviously we lose the pawn. So let's castle. Don't want to overthink it. Don't want to overextend, overextend either. We've done quite a bit. We've won a bit of tempo. So they're late developing their pieces. Knight's a little bit jammed in. So now they're giving us something to think about. Knight can jump here. Can jump here. Really wanted my bishop to attack his bishop, but maybe not. Knight's not going to do much there, is it? I feel like it's not going to do much here either, but it's giving our king company. That's the plus. That's the plus. Yeah. So these little concepts that we've been working on with the answer process, hopefully they're kind of helping to, for me to make a final decision, you know, 
at the end of the day, if the, if it's looking a bit murky, what's my goal? Is my king alone? Let, well, let's give it some company. All right, so got on pass on type thing. Let's do that. Queen takes any forks. Yes, but jazz boy, you're going to knock everything down, kiddo. <laughs> And yes, so we're not doing that. We're not do well. We could do that. Pawn takes. Rook puts a check on the king. Yeah, bit messy. Bit messy. Let's develop the rook. And get this here. Maybe get this up here. Something like that. Okay, he's developing his knight now. So he's starting to get his pieces working. Could bring the bishop here attacking the knight maybe doubling the pawns but he might want that because his queen's hitting this area going to bring the bishop here anyway it's getting it doing something knight can come here now attacking the queen because of the rook x-raying through the pawn can't take so we're attacking the queen and also this pawn so the queen is probably going to have to come all the way back if it's defending the pawn. Oh, kamikaze time. Take. What's happening? Can't see the queen. Queen comes here. Bishop attacks. Bishop attacks the queen. Knight's protecting. Still protected, this pawn can't take. Still got time to take here. But then if the king moves, yeah, we can come here. But then his knight's going to take us. But best off probably not taking that pawn, then it might be a bit poisonous. Yeah, it might be a bit poisonous. Bishop takes the knight. Knight takes. Knight takes. King comes across. Can't come back here because there's no X ray anymore. Can't go there. Yeah. I'd have to do this. Knight attacking there, knight. Knight attack. Oh, no. Damn, we can take our knight now. Idiot. <laughs> that should have calculated it through like I did all the others. And I'm just going straight off without doing any proper calculation. Idiot. I've just lost the piece now. For nothing. Well, I suppose. Well, yeah, for nothing. If they take, we've still got the rook with the. Okay, they haven't done. Whew. Oh, that's even worse. That's nice, but no cigar. Let's take. Now he takes with his pawn. But then we can take the pawn here with a check on the king. So I don't think it's looking too bad, actually. Panic over. And we also have this. He must be getting... Let's hit the queen again. And this time it's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? Knight puts the check, king comes and attacks. We can safely move here. This rook will be on the queen. And they've resigned.